All right, welcome to uh, today's daily vlog. It's the uh, last one of the week. Um, and today I just want to talk about a technique of mindfulness from Tony Robbins. So I, I talked about mindfulness earlier in the week and I haven't tried it out. And so if you don't know who Tony Robbins is, he's a very famous, uh, basically like mental and performance coach. And he works not just with, you know, upper level um, business he's, CEO athletes, but he works with the everyday person and just how to like unlock living a life that you want to live and, and kind of taking control over your emotions and your mind. And, um, one technique and I'm going to talk about two techniques, but the first one he brings up like that he, he brought up that resonated with me was like, you know, anytime you're in a lull in your day or anytime something's starting to get to you or anytime that you're starting to have some sort of like negative or doubt or uh, just some some n po not positive energy that's flowing through you, um, whether it's depression, whether it's anxiety, and whatever it's about it could be about you, you know uh, work, life, family, friends, like whatever it may be. Like there's things that, you know, go on in life that we can't control, but they still can get to you. And and the one thing that he, uh, the one trick he gives to get out of it is just to take a step back and go through as many things as possible that you're thankful for in your life. Um, and it's crazy how it really does change your attitude about what you were upset about. Um, it, you know, whatever you were stressed about, it's like irrelevant, you know what I mean? Just because like, you have so much more in life to be grateful for. Like, you know what I mean? Like if not, not if we started the basic, man, we got all, like, you know, I, for me, I got a roof over my head, right? Like I have, I have the ability to have clean water. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's, it's, everybody says those too, but it's like, that's real. Like there's people who spend their whole life living for water. Like all they do is they walk for water, right? Like miles a day, just because that's, you know, we can just, here you go, here you go, here you go, like, I just, I have that right there, for what I want, I have as much food as I could possibly want, I could go to the grocery store, I have a car that I could go and drive to the grocery store, people don't have cars, like, you know what I mean, like, I, I have, and that's just the basic stuff, but on top of that, I have one of the best support systems I could, like, anybody could ask for, I have the best family, right, like, I, I love my mom, I love my dad, I love my sister. They all support me fully. Like, you know what I mean? We don't get to see each other a lot, but that's because that's out of love and the fact that we know that, you know, hey, like you gotta live your life and you gotta like find work that's not work, right? Like, and, and, and I've been blessed to like be 22 years old at, right out of college and, and be in a situation where I can do that. Where like work for me is is sitting here for two hours writing up program ideas, like you know what I mean. Like and that that's my livelihood. Like you know what I'm saying. And and, and it, that that can be stressful in the sense that like this is my livelihood. This is what I make money on. But like I'm so blessed in the sense that it is. Like you know what I mean. The the one thing that I've like I'm truly good at. Like the one thing in my life that has always gotten me through whatever gotten me through loneliness gotten me through depression gotten me through anxiety like it's always been something physical some sort of physical activity or something revolved it and like how far i ha can dive down that hole gets me out of any hole i am mentally like i am so blessed in the sense that like i can um, I, it's not that i can choose my work but like i don't have to like necessarily work with populations really that I don't want to work with like you know what I mean like if I like I'm trying I'm have I'm on my way to setting up where like I don't have to tr do personal training for the general population because I am setting I have people around me and I have a situation that can support me in a way that I can just work with athletes like you know what I mean that's the that's the only thing that gives me juice like you know what I mean that's the one thing in life that makes me feel like I have a purpose that makes me feel like I'm meant to walk this earth like that makes me feel relevant the fact that I can help athletes like I can direct some athlete to a goal like I can I can take some athlete 
or whoever in person get him from here to here. Like, that's a blessing, man. Like, and, and the fact that, you know, I'm getting stressed about nonsense and I'm having anxiety about nonsense. It's like once you really reel it back and, and you get an opportunity and you take the opportunity to like, look at what you have in your life and what you're thankful for, man, like, I, I don't know how you can't be positive. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's really nothing I can't be positive about right now. Even, you know, despite whatever's going on, whatever, like whatever problems like I'm going through, it's like, is it really that big compared to like all this stuff that's good that's going on? Like, I can't tell you how beneficial that this mindfulness technique of thankfulness is. Like I'm, I, it's like a, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, we only say thank you to veterans on veterans day or, you know, you know, we like stuff like that. Right. Like why not every day? Like that's seriously something that like I think can help anybody. Like if you are really in a lull and you're starting to feel like, damn, like, this isn't going my way. I can't like, like seriously take a step back and just think about all, all that you have. Like think about everything that you're blessed with. You know what I mean? And it's going to be different for everybody. You know what I mean? And I have a, and I understand that I'm very blessed. And for me to be sitting here stressing about whatever I'm stressed about, man, it's not that big. It's not that big compared to every all the good that I have in my life. So I wanted to share that with you. Uh, with anybody, I, I really hope that if there's, uh, something that like they, like anything that I can help or talk about, like on this vlog, even if anybody even watches it or if anybody ever comes back to this moment, like, I really hope that this one like resonates with you and helps you because like, I can't tell you how much it, it really helped with me right now. It's, it's something that I will continue to do. And I think that all of us need to do, um, just as a, like, put things in perspective, man. So, um, it's been a good week. It's going to be a better week next week. <laughs> it always is, man. I got to get better every day. Um, have a good night.